Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! Today I would like to talk to you about how to motivate kids to be responsible, how to help them to develop responsibility and how to teach them to be trustworthy. Um, this question I received actually from one of my YouTube viewers and it was a comment on one of my videos and of course if you have a question you can always write it in the comment section or send it to me directly at my website and you can see it on the screen at selenasemenek.com uh, and if I see likes on your question and if I see that this question is very popular, then of course I will create a video answer just like this one. So this question came from uh, Melody, uh, she's from Texas and she asked me how to teach kids to be responsible. And this is a very, very good question. Actually, I thought about the same question uh, a couple of weeks ago because I had a problem with my stepkids at home. So let's talk about this. But before we start, I would like to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? And for me, as you already know, probably the biggest challenge that I face right now is uh, to be a good mother, to raise my baby girl and to build my YouTube channel, to um, build my business and of course to be a good uh, wife, to be a good daughter myself, to be a good friend. So I'm trying to figure out how to combine all these important things together and how to find time for everything. So if you are like me and if you are looking for professional help, please check out the link below my channel because BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus counselors network, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly videos or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional office counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. It's better H-E-L-P and join over 1 million people talking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And the good news is that for my channel listeners, there is a special offer. If you click the link below my video, then you get 10% off your first month. So thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Please guys, check it out. So let's start talking about what I did, I will share with you my experience and please share your thoughts in the comment section as usual. So a couple of weeks ago, uh, I went to my stepdaughter's bedroom and saw that uh, one of the sockets behind her bed is broken and I saw that the wire that she charges her devices were like hanging out from the socket and it was like very very dangerous so the socket was kind of you know in out of the out of the hole actually uh, I realized that she used it to charge her devices uh, when she was you know supposed to sleep in the bed so we don't allow them to charge their devices in the bed we don't allow them to use their computer in bed but apparently she did and um, probably she did it at night when uh, the lights were off so that's why she was trying to find the outlet she was probably pushing and pulling out you know the wire so it's completely broke to be honest with you, I was angry. Luckily for her and for me, she was at school. So when she came back home, I was able to cool down. And uh, her dad and me, we talked to her nicely. We did not uh, punish her. We explained to her that this is dangerous. She could be electrocuted and she could create a fire in the house. 
So I found the different socket and I said, okay, you can use this um, place to charge your devices on the table, you know, charge your phone, charge your computer, this is safe. And she said, okay. Uh, the next morning I went to her room, uh, I was doing some laundry and I needed to, you know, to see if she has some dirty clothes and I saw another broken socket behind her bed also from the other side, which was also broken and pieces of plastic were on the floor next to the bed. So I realized that she completely ignored, you know, the nice conversation that we had the day before and she decided to use a different socket, you know, under the bed without even considering that uh, she can be electrocuted or she can create a fire. And seeing the broken pieces of plastic next to her bed, you know, made me realize that she just stepped over them and did not notice or maybe she did notice them but just ignored it. So I was angry again and then I was like, okay, so what can I do? Uh, probably if I be angry or if I show my uh, negative emotions, yes, she might do it or probably she's gonna ignore it again. So I decided that I will talk to her and I told her that from now on you have no, you lost your privilege to charge your devices in your room, all the devices should be charged in the kitchen. And I told her, this is your place. This is, you know, this is your wire. This is your <laughs> outlet. This is your place. And I said, uh, you're gonna use this until you can show us, uh, your dad and me, that you are trustworthy, until you can show us that we can trust you and you can show us that you're responsible. And she asked me, so how can I do that? And I said, we're gonna have a trust board. So trust board is actually a piece of paper, like I just took a plain, plain piece of paper and uh, I wrote trust board. And the rule is, every time she does something good, for example, she asked her dad for a ruler from his office and he told her like, yes, you can have it, but you should bring it back. And she said, okay, I promise. And she did. So, you know, she asked for something, she promised to do it and she did. So we put on the trust board number one, you know, took the ruler from daddy's office and returned it. And they told her that you need to, oops, my earring fell down. Okay. <laughs> I told uh, her that, okay, you earned one trust point. As soon as you earn 10 of them, you can take all your devices back to your room and charge them in your room. But if uh, during the process you will lie to us or you will forget something like, for example, a dirty socks on the living room couch, then we're going to deduct one trust point. So every time when you promise something or you're supposed to do something that you know and you don't do it, we're going to count as a negative trust point and we will deduct it from the board. So as long as you get 10 positive points, you're trustworthy and we consider that we can trust you so you can take your devices back into your room. She actually took it very well. She was like, okay, that sounds reasonable. That sounds doable. Uh, we just started doing it, so I don't have a feedback yet. But uh, if you're interested, let me know in the comments and maybe I will create another video and tell you uh, about the experience. So please let me know what helps you to motivate your kids, what helps you to teach them or how do you teach them to be responsible. I would be happy to read your comments and if you found this video helpful, if you've learned something, then please give me likes and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you can share this video with your friends and family on your social network, I will be so happy because every time you click like, subscribe or share, it really helps my YouTube channel. So please help me to help you and other people to create more videos like this and answer your questions. And of course, if you have a question, you know, write it down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.